Oh no! Dapat hinintay mo to. Si Infinix Zero 35G ay mayroong 4G version na feeling ko mas sulit. This my friends is every bit the Zero 35G. 3D curved display din siya. Elegant flagship design. Camera is 108MP. Meron din siyang 5000mAh sa battery and 45 watts fast charging. At yung presyo, less than 10,000 pesos. There are only two phones in the world that is less than 10,000 pesos tapos meron siyang 3D curved display. Yung una lumabas na earlier this year. Si Itel S23 Plus po yun. Pero kasi alangan ninyo kanyang specs. O flagship yung itsura niya. 3D curved display. Kaya lang kasi hindi okay yung performance. Kulang na kulang pa yung camera niya. Ito na pa yung solution doon. This one is more powerful. Yung display Corning Gorilla Glass material. Poging pogi 3D curved display. And of course, hindi lang siya less than 10K. Mas mura pa siya sa live ko sa ikok. And you know what? Infinix is also dubbing this as a vlogging phone. And you know, vlog camera. 50 megapixel front camera. Pero yun, without further ado, let us unbox this. But spins and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Oh. Okay, so ito na po siya. The box is very similar dun sa 5G. Wala lang po siyang 5G na letters dito. 256GB of internal storage at 16GB of RAM. Extended. Yung specs na sa likod. And of course, ito na po siya. Sheesh. Pumaya na yan. Underneath, you're getting papers, the manual, and the warranty card. May kasamang jelly case, USB Type-C cable, and a very powerful 45-watt charger. And of course, yung kanyang SIM ejector pin. And that's pretty much it. And of course, the phone itself. Golden design din. Oy, di ba? Now the design is very familiar. Infinix Zero 35G-like. Same thing, curved back, curved front. Very symmetrical and very pang flagship yung kanyang itsura. But this, I feel, is plastic lang. The Zero 35G is glass yung likod. Yung isa leather pa. Pero syempre, for less than 10K, bakit ka pa magre-reklamo? And for me, yung nagdala talaga sa kanya is kanyang display. 3D curved display na po. Although meron sa si Itel S20 Plus ng ganito, 60Hz lang po siya. Eto, 120Hz refresh rate display. Corning Gorilla Glass pa yan. And yes, it is also AMOLED. It is a 6.78 inch, 1080p, 120Hz, 3D curved AMOLED display na mayroong Corning Gorilla Glass material. Punch hole na rin po siya. Wow! It is elegant, sexy, at grabe. Talagang hinapul talaga nila to for 2023. And it looks like kakainan niya yung mga sales ni Tecno, ni Itel, ni Realme. This is gonna destroy the competition this Christmas. Wait lang! Gusto ko makita sa inyo yung camera. The camera is napakaganda. Ito na po ah, patos sa inyo agad. Kasi nga, ang, ang ganda niya. Yung camera niya is also its strong point. Just like its 5G brother, meron po siyang 108MP OIS camera. Now the thing is, it does not have an ultra-wide angle lens. Wala pa siyang 0.5, 0.6 dito. Yun nga lang, napansin namin, yung kanyang camera is like, wow. The dynamic range is Wow! Sobrang tindi kung paano niya i-balance out yung lighting and the shadows. So much detail can be seen. Especially sa mga ganitong scenes na ganito. Sa labas, imposible po yan sa mga murang cellphone. But now, it's all possible because ginawa ng paraan ni Infinix. Wow! Ganun mo ba kagusto talaga maging number one? Hindi, wow. Pero yun, mamaya na yung ibang parts ng camera. Gusto lang i-preview yan. Kailangan mo kasi agad, agad malaman. Huh? Now, going back sa design, symmetrical po yung kanyang likod dun sa harap. Ibig sabihin ko ano yung pagka-curve niya sa likod. Yung dimensions, ganun din po sa harapan. Making it look super premium in my eyes. Gold na gold yung kanyang itsura. Napunta naman tayo sa sides niya. Buttons and ports, ito na po. Power button. Volume rocker sa taas niya. Sa left side, wala po. Sa taas, may microphone. Uy, dual speakers to ah. May speakers sa taas. Powered by Infinix. At meron din siya speakers sa ilalim. Usong-usong na yan ah. We've got here a USB Type-C port, microphone, and the SIM tray. Hop! Ang malaking tanong. SIM ejector pin, meron ba? Sana meron, sana meron, sana meron. One, two, three! Mm. Ah, hindi. Uh, flagship na daw po kasi siya. Ayan. Si 030 series. Ay, wala pong micro SD card slot. Pero kasi 256 GB na po to. So you have plenty of storage. At dual nano SIM card naman po siya. Yun. And now with the display. The display is very bright. Very vibrant. Colors are very punchy. This is an AMOLED display. Also very smooth ang dalawan. Ito yung hindi mo makakuha dun sa Itel S20+. Plus. Dumiretso na siya sa 120Hz refresh rate. Hindi na siya nag-90Hz. And look at that. Grabe yung smoothness. Sa Facebook. Tinan nyo naman yung Facebook guys. Ah, ang smooth tingnan. Ang smooth ng galawan. Tapos yung pagka-white ng display. It's very very white. Wow. Infinix definitely saved the best for last. At kapag doon ka ng YouTube dito. Ito ba yung tura niya? Curved display. Sagad na sagad. Ito na sinasabi sa inyo guys. No? Finally, makapag-experience ka na kasi nga pinamura na nila yung mga 3D curved display. They have brought you this very expensive technology in your hands. In reach na po. And this one can play up to 1440p, 60 frames per second on YouTube. And look at that quality. Holy sheesh! My goodness! Yan po yung quality na makukuha nyo. Napakaganda, napakasagad po tingnan. Look at your content overflowing at the sides 
of the display. Wala na pong sana all ngayon dahil kaya mo na siyang bilhin. 14th month, sorry na, sana all. And of course, what is the performance that you're gonna get here? Hindi mo sinabi, Vince. Hinihintay ko yun eh. Andito ako para sa performance eh. Well, ang kailangan mo lamang is kanyang processor ay Helio G99. Ito yung pinakabilis na 4G processor ni MediaTek. The Antutu benchmark is 413,000 points pang malakasan. That is about 80% of the performance of the 035G. And now for the gaming part. Here we go. Mobile Legends, Ultra Graphics, Super Refresh Rate, agad again. And guys, I was able to play this from start to finish, ranked game, with no frame drops, no lag whatsoever, ang smooth niya po sa Mobile Legends. Sa Call of Duty ito naman siya, high frame rates, medium graphics. Hopefully, ma-optimize mo siya in the future to run at very high frame rates. Feeling ko kaya niya. Okay na medium graphics sa akin. And so far, okay naman siya. Very smooth naman, no frame drops, no lag whatsoever. Yun nga lang, needs more optimization for extra frame rates dito sa kanyang settings. I believe, it can do more. Make it happen, Infinix, please lang. Or make it happen, Call of Duty. Ayun, nakai Call of Duty kasi yan. Sa Genshin Impact, yes. For most Helio G99 processors, ito po yung kaya nila. Lowest graphics, 60 frames per second. Very playable, 40 to 50 frames per second. Nakita ko dito. Yan po yung kaya ni 034G for Genshin Impact. Overall, sa gaming, sobrang natuwa ko, especially sa Mobile Legends. Sobrang smooth. Nag-enjoy pa ako playing on this thing. I mean, jumping from my Huawei P60 Pro and iPhone to here, wala pong pinakaiba yung experience, nakakatawa po. Ibig sabihin pang flagship po yung experience when you're playing Mobile Legends on this phone din. Speaking of flagship, pang flagship din ba yung kanyang camera? Now this thing has three cameras, but wala po siyang ultra-wide angle lens. But then again, 108MP main camera, 2MP depth sensor, and 2MP macro lens, yun po. And here are the pictures we've got using the camera. Without a doubt, this one is very similar dun sa camera ni 035G. Quality-wise, napaganda. Dynamic range, very high end. We were able to get so much detail in the brightest and darkest parts of the image. Napansin ko rin na super confident yung camera in terms of sa mga tao. And when you take a picture right here, you can be sure na okay lagi yung picture na nakuha nyo. Depende na lang po yan sa angulo or sa kung gano'ng kagaling talaga kumuha ng mga portrait shots. Because most of the time, it's actually the photographer and not the camera. But what you get with a better camera is actually better control of the output. Ito yung less likely na mag i ka pa ng extra after you take the picture. And by the way, hindi po siya 4K 60 frames per second. Up to 2K 30 frames per second po yung gaya niya sa video. Ito pa yung video niya, no? Yung video niya, meron siyang stabilization. Si Ultra Steady On, pero gumagana lang siya sa 1080p 30 frames per second. But yes, it does have 1080p 60 frames per second which is very nice if you want that very cinematic look. And yes, just like the 035G, it's bigger brother. Fully stacked po yung kanyang camera up dito. Meron siyang super night mode for better low light shots. It's got a pro mode, may macro mode. Dami dami. Mer Meron pa siyang dual video, katulad dito. Yan, yeah, nag-unbox na ako. May uh, face ako dito para may reaction. <gasps> wow, 035G. At ito na po yung quality ng 50 megapixel front selfie camera. Oh my god, nakai ba talaga? Ito talaga yung ginasasan talaga na sobra. Yung pinadala pa kami sa Europe and things like that. I think this is the same sensor as the 035G 50 megapixel. Uh, pero kasi hindi siya kasing ganda in terms of yung 4K 60 frames per second. Uh, kay 035G lang yun. Pero to up to 2K 30 frames per second po to. Dahil po sa processor yan. Look at the quality. Congratulations, Infinix. You made it to the league of best camera makers. The Infinix 034G is only less than 10K, 9,999 pesos, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. OMG, mga kaibigan. This is probably the best 4G smartphone you can buy today. 4G smartphone na mukhang flagship. And I highly suggest if you're looking for that 3D curved display. Tapos gusto mo rin ang maganda yung camera and the... Talagang pulido yung specs. The 034G will be on sale on my 12.11 live. Na mas mura po yung kanyang presyo kaysa sa SRP. That's right, exclusive on my live. Major discount po agad. Follow na, register na rin. 12.11. Kita kits, 8pm to 11pm po. Kung kasi nyo, handa na po kayo. Because this one is special. Again, if you wanna see more videos, mga ganito kasulit na phones on my channel, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon, so that you don't miss any of my great content. But sabihin, and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Ooh.